What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different of Mr. Different TV. want to give a big shout out to Internet Money once again for allowing me to let you guys hear this knowledge. As always, today I'm going to show you guys how to bring more impact, more punch, more knock to your 808s and your kick drum and how to get them to mix a little bit better within the mix and so they don't like clash with each other and just show you how to get a little bit more flavor out of your kick drums and your 808s. So I got a little beat right here I'll play and you can hear the 808s and kick drums, how to have their unique sound out solo them and I'll show you some techniques I've used and I can and that I can show you guys so that way you guys can implement these same techniques to you know just make everything sit in the mix better and just sound a little more punchier and a little bit more knocking you know just had that impact that you guys want so here's a little beat I made Simple little beat. Try to go for that Metro Boomin' 21 Savage type style. Um, here's the 808 and the kick drum by themselves. I'm gonna show you how to, you know, get them a little, a little flavor to each other. Okay, as you can hear, you know, they 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 sit well with each other. You can hear the kick, you can hear that initial punch in the kick, and then you can feel that initial power and tail of the 808. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. You know, just show you how I got them to sit together and mix better, you know, because there's no secret to this. There ain't no magic tool, no you gotta do this process and the, they ain't none of that bullshit. It's very simple, and I use default stuff for FL Studio to do that. So before anybody try to tell you otherwise, shit's simple to do. So we'll just start with the 808 first, we'll just solo that thing. Um, and it's the 808 is a is a patch I made for one of my kits. It's on my website. It's called um, 808 Nebula, but it's, it's for a pack I got called the uh, Space Sauce. If you guys like it, you guys want the 808, you know, let Ted Taylor say, "Hey, ask Ted Taylor, can I host it on his website?" Shoot, let you guys get it. I don't know. <laughs> Just fuck with y'all. But anyway, um, this is what it sounds like. Like I said, it's, it's made in serum, so it's like pure sign, pure bass. It's like pure bass, I mean, but you can use any type of 808 sample, like basically from like the drum select um, from their website. You send it to the 808s, you can use these same techniques to get that sound. So basically the only thing I did with this is I put a decapitator on it, which basically is a distortion saturation plug-in. Um, anyone will work. You can use decapitator. You can use goddamn, where is it at? Fast distortion. You can use goddamn wave shaper. I, I don't mean you can use like, you can use any of them you want to. It don't really matter or whatever plugin you got for distortion. But the distortion basically will help the 808 be heard on like smaller systems. Say like your iPhones, your your car speakers, your laptop speakers. It gives it that little bit more that little punch that you need. But the technique to do it is to pretty much drive it pretty hard and then bring the mix down. So if you don't have a mix knob, like on this plugin, you can just bring the knob right here. You see right beside the name, you just turn it down. That's the that's the that's pretty much the mix of the sound or the effect. So this is what it sounds like without the decapitator. It's already pretty heavily distorted, you know. It already sounds pretty good. Like most 808s you get nowadays already has some distortion. So I'm just going to add some more to it. Now with the decapitator, I'm going to flip on and now so you can't really hear before and after. As you can hear that that low end, that that upper range distortion just gets that much better and it sounds a lot more fuller. And like I said, on like smaller systems, you'll definitely be able to hear that. So let's move on to the kick drum real quick. So we'll just mute that, go to the kick drum. Now without the effects. So what did I do to get that sound? Well, first off, thing that I always do with my kick drums is I always cut the highs because you don't really need high information in kick drums. Kick drums are mainly, or mainly uh, low frequencies and mid frequency. That's all you need. So anything above that, you really don't need unless you're just trying to do some EDM type stuff, which we're not doing here. We're doing trap. If you're trying to do EDM stuff, you want that nice clicky sound at the top end. But like I said, we're not doing that. We're not doing no pop dance. We're doing, ED we're doing trap stuff. So, you know. 
So I always cut the high. So that just. As you see, a simple little high cut, you know, with the Fruity EQ2, which comes with FS Studio, automatically makes it a little bit more tighter, a little bit more focused in the sound. Because that's what you want. You want it to be more focused and more tighter in the sound. You don't need all that, you know, you don't need that extra information that's there. Next, I use, this is a third-party plugin, but I'll show you exactly how to do the same thing with default stuff. Basically, what this is, is an EQ and a compressor, basically. So what, the, what this EQ is doing is basically cutting some of the lows. Now, I'm cutting a little bit of lows, not too much. I'm cutting about 80 hertz. So what that would look like with an EQ2, you know, 80 hertz would be, if you double-click up here, you just bring it right, 80 hertz would be like right around here. Right around it here. You know, I'm cutting about that much because this is where I want my um, 808 to sit. All this is going to be my 808 information and up here and, you know, around here is where I want my kick drum to sit. So I'm making room for everything else so they can have their own place in the mix. That's why they sit well together. So that's what that first EQ is doing right here. It's just cutting that about 80 hertz. And this compressor is basically just compressing it. So, I mean, you don't have to use a compressor. I use compressors because they just make stuff sound tighter and fuller. If you do it right, if you don't know how to use a compressor, if you guys want to want me to make a video or, you know, you like a, want a video on compression, I mean, hey, let let, let Taz Taylor in that money know and she might have to get you that compressor um tutorial. Shit, yeah, I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. I like making videos. So, yeah, but a compressor just basically just kind of levels everything out and makes everything one cohesive sound. So, basically, I'm just squashing it down a little bit, bringing up some volume, and that's it. So, I'll actually mute the compressor and EQ so you can hear what it's doing before and after. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't really hear a difference. If you, like I said, headphones, speakers, you'll be able to hear it really, really good. Um, but basically what it's doing is just bringing up some of that low bass. Not doing much because like I said I don't want to go dr dramatic with this. I just want to be very subtle for right now. Because cause like I said, by doing a little bit at a time and doing a little bit for each step, like each EQ, each compressor, doing a little bit at a time, it builds to a bigger sound. If you do a lot for one and you make it work really hard, it's going to damage stuff and start fucking stuff up, you know, distorting. So just a little bit goes a long way. Next up, I add some distortion to my kick drum. They probably thinking, why would you add distortion to your kick drum? I'm just going to play and let you hear. So this is without the distortion. Now with it. Like I said, just like the 808s, the distortion is going to make it be able to hear on those smaller speakers. You got to understand, the people who are listening to your music, 9 out of 10 times are on their cell phone. Like you got these artists going to YouTube on their cell phones, you know, going through your beats to find a beat so they can download it real quick and buy it real quick and then, you know, play it in the studio and record over it. So it needs to be able to be sound good on their cell phones or headphones or in their car or wherever. So, you know, they can, they want to buy it. If it don't sound good, they're not going to buy it. So a little bit of distortion is just going to help it you know, punch through those smaller speakers, you know, and a lot of people don't think about that, but you know, now you know, but I said, you use any distortion you want to use. doesn't really matter. You know, whatever you feel fit, you know, the works for you. Now, now if you hear both of them together, they sound like this. But you probably, ask your, you probably ask yourself, wait, Slim, hold on one second. The 808 is overpowering the kick drum completely. How do I fix that? Easy. I'm going to show you exactly how you fix that. We're going to side chain it. Now, I'm going to restart my side chain and show you how to do it. Now, where I side chain, I use Fruity Limiter. Um, very simple plugin, very easy. It's, you know, everybody has it. So if you ain't got it, I don't know what the fuck kind of program you're using, but you know, you should have some kind of compressor with a side chain function in it. Now, if you go to the kick drum, all you got to do is on the kick drum channel, you want to find where your 808 is and click this little arrow button or right click, or you can right click and go to side chain this channel. And when you click the arrow button, it's gonna do like this, and you just wanna bring it all the way down. That means the side chain. So that means now the signal from this kick drum is gonna trigger the compressor right here of this, and it's basically gonna compress the uh, 808. So now we need to go to turn to compressor mode. So you got limit, compressor, limit, compressor, go to compressor. And you wanna go to side chain, and you wanna go right up there, or right click and go to kick. And boom, there you go, now it's side chain. Now, it sounds like this now. Still sound the same. But how are we going to make that kick drum be able to be punching through the 808 but still have that initial attack of the kick but that tail of the 808? Easy. 
You want to bring your threshold down to, you know, wherever you see fit. And I have to bring my knee all the way up and then the ratio all the way up as well. Now, what that's basically telling is when the kick drum hits, compress the shit out the 808 and then release it. So when you hear it now. You hear how the 808 is kind of ducking down, it's going June, June, ducking down. That's what you want. And if you just bring the release down so it's not so long, because you see it's got a kind of a long release, we want to kind of hit and then release real quick. So we want a fast attack, a kind of a medium to slow release. So now we got to Now I'm play you before and after with the side chain on out so you can hear the difference. Let's play it with the beat so you can hear it even better. That's a sun solo everything. Here we go. Now you hear now with, with the whole mix going on, now with the side chain on, you can actually hear the kick drum a lot more then without it, like before, all you heard was 808 and bass, but now with the side chain, you hear the kick drum at 808. So right there, easy, simple steps, show you how to add extra flavor to your kick drums and 808s, and also how to side chain to mix them better in the beat. And, that, and also what you can do, if like I said the 808 gets a little bit lower, you can just bring up the volume of it. Doesn't really matter, bring it up a little bit, help it out, it works good. And bam, that's it. Easy steps. I use, you know, default stuff, nothing special, no fancy trickery or no special courses or tutorials and like that easy stuff like i said making music like this is super easy you just gotta know how to do it so hope this guys help you out let me know what you guys think you want me to make more videos i want to make more videos for you guys because i like i like helping everybody out i want to give a big shout out to internet money like once again thank you for allowing me to bring you guys knowledge and if you guys want sound design stuff or whatever i'll be happy to make it if you know you guys want it shoot let me know what you think so with that being said hope you guys enjoy it's your boy slim aka mr different and guess what hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.